This man in his 80s was on blood thinners. He presented with the squamous cell carcinoma for which we injected 20 cc's of lidocaine with epinephrine and bicarbonate. You want to put enough in that it actually lifts the tumor off of the epitenon. You want to have at least two centimeters of visible or palpable local outside your margin of excision. The tumescent local anesthesia permitted us to save the epitenon and completely excise the tumor off of the tendons. After we did that, of course, the patient was bleeding because of his anticoagulants. So after the excision, we had the patient elevate his hand and compress it for at least a half an hour until all of the bleeding stopped before we applied the skin graft. We applied the skin graft once again, elevated the hand and covered it, and then applied a tie-over dressing. We did all of this in the clinic with field sterility, and so no time was wasted because we did carpal tunnels while he was waiting for things to stop bleeding, and so that we could apply his skin graft. We used another 20 cc's of local, in the arm where we harvested a split thickness skin graft with a 10 blade. This left us with exposed dermis. We excised that exposed dermis and closed the donor site primarily so that it healed as a simple incision. Here is that donor site a week later and here is the hand a week later when we removed the tie over xeriform from the uh, recipient site. Here it is at two weeks after the excision and here it is at one month after the excision. The raw areas that were not covered by skin graft have healed in secondarily and the movement is